Hi, my name is Elisa, and with the help from my partner, Tanisha, we are going to explore Canva. Canva is a digital tool that can be used to create teacher branding, classroom worksheets, posters, resumes, flyers, and so much more. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get started with Canva. If you do not already have a Canva account, I highly suggest signing up for the educator account. If you go to www.canva.com slash education, it will take you to this screen and you can just register for a Canva account for free. When you do this, you have access to all the paid features of Canva without having to pay for them. The only thing you have to do is verify that you're an educator. So if you take a picture of your school ID and submit it, then when you submit your registration, they will give you access to all of the features. And I just think that this is the best tool to use for educators. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to log in through Google and you're going to be able to see what my Canva account looks like. So this is my main screen and I have a lot of options to choose from. So at the top, you'll find your home screen or just templates. If you know you want to quickly get started on the left, you'll find all of your designs. So anything that I've already created designs that were shared with me, um, classwork, and you'll be able to access these very quickly. If you know that, okay, I just want to get started right now and I want to go ahead and make my design, you can just jump right over to create design or you can choose from a template that's already quickly there for you that you know you might need. When you go to create design, you have the option to choose from so many um, different designs. You know, if you need an invitation or a business card or you're making a poster for school, you're updating your resume, there are so many options for you. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly make a poster. Now you have two choices when creating. No matter what the template is, you can either create from scratch or you can just use a pre-made template that might be able to start you off um, in creating your work. So let's say I wanted to just create an educational poster or a school poster. I find school posters and I can see all the ones that are already created. And I have the option to choose from any of these. So let's just go with class rules. Maybe it's the beginning of the year. You need to start making your rules for the class and you have a certain design that you're looking for. If these aren't the colors you like, you can click anything and change those colors. So it's always going to be up here, the, the colors that are primary in that design, and you can change them to anything you want. Say you wanted to change it to green. Even if you didn't like the picture's outfit, you know, I can change that dress to pink. I can delete aspects of the design that I don't like, and maybe I wanted to replace that diamond with a broom. I can go here to elements and just search broom. And you'll be able to notice that some of these, as you scroll over them, say EDU, and then some of them will say free. These are the ones that you now have access to because you have the paid account. So you can just quickly insert it. And again, if you don't like the color, that's fine. You can change that. Okay. So on the side here, you'll notice that you might want to change the template or you might have something that's already saved to your files that you want to upload. You can use stock photos that they have already. So this saves you time on Google trying to find a quality picture. Or you can search different elements like we did with the broom. You can add text. They have some font combinations that are already put together. Or if you know the font that you want to use, you can just add a subheading or add a heading and change the font to whatever you'd like. You can also change the size and the color just as you would be able to in Word. So on certain things, you might also want to add music. Again, they have stock music here that you don't have to search for and you know is going to be appropriate. Or you can add um, videos. Again, they still have stock ones, but if you wanted to upload something from your computer, you could do that as well. So let's say my design is great the way that I have it. I don't want to change anything else. I have the option to share it to someone that I know, maybe just their email. You can download it and it'll give you the suggestion. 
Um, this is just a quick download, but you can save it however you'd like. Or you can go up here to these three dots and it'll give you a lot more options for saving. So they recommend downloading it or assigning it as an assignment on Canva if you have a class. You can assign it to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. Or there are some other ways that you can share it. So definitely take the time to look through this Canva because there are so many features. And that was just a quick way to, um, to show you how to create a design. But even though I didn't hit save, just like in a Google slide, it's already saving for you and it's going to save automatically. And let's say that's, that's the one you want. You can go ahead and download it right from here or you can just open it up. So it's always going to be in my save designs and I can add a title to it and I'll easily be able to access it. So I believe that Canva is just a great tool to use for a variety of things. So again, this is how you use Canva to help with creating teacher branding, classroom worksheets, posters, resumes, flyers, and so much more. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other resources. Bye.